In a small village nestled amidst rolling hills and whispering forests, there lived two 15-year-old boys named Ethan and Liam. The village, with its cobblestone paths and cozy cottages, had always been home to them, but their friendship was a tumultuous one, often entangled in the threads of rivalry and competition. From a young age, the two boys had found themselves entangled in a constant struggle for the admiration of their peers. Their rivalry, although never truly hostile, simmered beneath their interactions, sparking a subtle competition in every aspect of their lives. Whether it was academics, sports, or even the attention of the village's wise old storyteller, they always seemed to be vying for the top spot. Their rivalry reached its pinnacle during the annual Harvest Festival, where the entire village came together to celebrate the bounty of the season. Amongst the games, contests, and jubilant music, there was a grand archery competition that had become the highlight of the festivities. The winner would not only earn the admiration of the villagers but also a golden quiver, an ancient relic that signified honor and prowess. Ethan and Liam, both skilled archers in their own right, set their sights on this prestigious prize, their determination burning brighter than the autumnal bonfires that adorned the village square. As the day of the competition dawned, the atmosphere crackled with anticipation, and the villagers gathered around the archery range, eager to witness the spectacle. With unwavering focus, Ethan and Liam stepped onto the range, their bows drawn taut, their eyes fixated on the distant targets. The first few rounds showcased their exceptional skill, drawing gasps and applause from the crowd. As the competition progressed, their rivalry escalated, each determined to outshine the other and claim the coveted golden quiver. The final round arrived, and Ethan and Liam found themselves in a neck-and-neck -neck battle, their arrows finding their marks with almost supernatural precision. As the tension mounted, Ethan's final arrow quivered on the edge of the target, poised to secure his victory. But in an unexpected turn of events, Liam's arrow got broken. It was the last arrow, with that he knew that he can't compete now. Ethan watching this though for a second, then leaving behind his rivalry he lent Liam his arrow. Liam's final arrow quivered on the middle of the target securing his victory. In that moment of triumph, as the villagers cheered and congratulated Liam, Ethan's face softened, a mix of pride and respect shining in his eyes. As they stood side by side, the golden quiver held between them, the rivalry that had defined their relationship for so long dissolved into a newfound camaraderie. From that day onward, Ethan and Liam remained the closest of friends, their shared experiences and mutual respect binding them together. They became the pillars of unity in their village, their story of rivalry turned friendship a testament to the power of camaraderie and the joy of shared triumphs. And as the seasons changed and the village continued to thrive, the tale of Ethan and Liam's rivalry lived on, a cherished fable that inspired generations to come.